Iron Wrath, Stronghold of House Forrester. It's actually pretty dope, to be honest. I, re I really like that. I wish we'd see it in the show. It's Garrett. It is Garrett. Get the Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Garrett. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall quickly. All right. Well, I'm injured. Ah, that sounds like it hurts. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. Oh, that makes it worse. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. Nope. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice Ouch. was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different. I had you. no choice. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. Nope. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Ouch. That hurts. Oh, that's so gross. It's like when Clementine stitched herself up. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good Our house will never fall. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Lord Ethan. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Ouch. Hold this for me, will you? Need some milk of the poppy. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Wow. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. By all love. It's just kind of guy he was. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Alrighty. I'm assuming this is an explorey bit. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Alrighty. Let's walk up and look at this chair. Look at the Lord's chair. I don't know why I can't look from so far back, but all right. All right. What else is there? Can I not walk? I cannot walk behind the chair. All right. Let's see if I can walk over here. I can examine the painting. Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. He seemed like it. Um, Lord Forrester. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. I bet it was. Gregor the Good. Gregor was his name. All right. Good to know. Ryan? Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Why couldn't Catelyn get that picture from John? 
Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. I don't know that King's Landing is the safest place for somebody that was allied to Rob Stark. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Asher. Exiled to Essos, Ooh, unfortunately. Essos. Awesome. Learn more about the Foresters on the Menu Codex page. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Is there anything else I can explore over here, maybe? Anything on a bench? Nope. Alright, I will go back and talk to him. Talk to Maester Ortengren? Ortengren? Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate us? Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Makes sense. The White Hills want our ironwood? The White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power, and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left, just as they've done before. All right. Can I leave now? Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Uh, thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Ooh. Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. She ain't her dad. I mean, her dad's dead. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Oh, damn. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? North Grove. Any last words? But I can't tell her that. Past. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester sword. I do. Ethan should have it now that he is Lord. Lord Forester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs, with his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Thank you, Maester. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. Oh, the hell with God Ramsay Snow, damn it. bastard. Ramsay. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within a week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Sensible. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too oh, much. We do need to be smart about it. To be heard. 
It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Edward Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Good point. Very good point. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for it what he did. It wasn't murder. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Don't where would I go? The boy has suffered enough. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond ah, the reach of the even wall. House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll go. Especially now. Better than conflict. The house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Fair enough. That sucks, though. Hey, maybe we'll meet John. We'll probably meet John. That settles it then. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. Thank you. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I think Garrett's G. I really like Garrett. Also, there seemed to be something blooming in terms of relationship between Lord F or Lady Forrester's daughter. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would, and God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. That's what Ned Stark said. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester's last words were, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. What is it? I assume you kept your word. I did. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Nope. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in Damn you. Damn right. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. That's convenient. All right. We'll become a ranger it is. <sighs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. This is kind of sad. I like Garrett. I like him being at House Forrester. I mean, I'm stoked to see the wall, but... Man. Plus, there's that girl seemed to like him. That sucks. I shipped it. Oh, there she is. Garrett, wait. I knew I shipped it for a reason. Hopefully they get together by the end of this. Be safe. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll be back for you, my love. <laughs> wow. Visuals are really, really pretty. Okay, so he's the new lord. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. He kind of reminds me like of the uh, the main character from uh, Don't Starve. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Oh, be nice to your little brother. I love it. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. Right on. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Aww. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gerd to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gerd. He was nice. He's smart. He'll be fine. Gerd is smart. No one will tell me what Gerd did, but it must have been serious. Oh, yeah. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you. But I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. <laughs> what? Asshole. And he calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets care what he himself. Said. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> that kid's cute. I like him. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. Silly boy. He had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Puberty. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Oh, shucks. I know a Lord has many responsibilities. But you don't need to be like I that. Won't. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. As many as it you'd would be like. It would nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Alrighty then. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. That's not good. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. All right. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. 
if that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Why am I walking this way if Royalin walked that way? <laughs> that doesn't make much sense at all. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Alrighty. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men go over. Very true. Very true. A sensible man does as well. That's just trying to be safe. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. What a dick. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero. Fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. My father literally just no died. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck. That's how you talk to a lord. I'm a lord too. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? His haircut's awful. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. That's not how it happened. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. How do you answer for and your men? The lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? Damn, schooled I your mean, ass. I no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This... Is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now, 
By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. He will, dot, dot, dot. Lord Whitehill kind of reminds me of Shrek. And his haircut, again, atrocious. Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. Yes, I did. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Mm-hmm. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once.